now, you know, so many emotions running around, running through me. Um, you know, being a black man in this country, um, being a priest, um, ministering to people in this country, um, being a man of faith, trying to minister to myself, to my family. Um, as we look at the various things that have happened in, in, in the recent days, waking up this morning and seeing that uh, a non-armed black man was killed by police and thinking that it was the same event that happened in Tulsa, only to be shocked and awed, not even shocked really, but to be awed and dismayed rather, that it was not the Tulsa incident, but the incident in North Carolina. Um, so it's like every day there's a new one. And, you know, you, you see the political climate with, um, you know, racist, bigoted supporters of Donald Trump on the rise, just showing themselves, coming out of the woodworks, coming out of the mountains, coming out of the valleys, and coming out from everywhere. Um, and, you know, people want to talk about um, black on black crime and, 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 and don't get me wrong. So that's, that's definitely, definitely an issue, definitely a problem. So it's white on white crime. I mean. The discrepancy between white on white crime and black on black crime is negligible. I mean, we're talking about damn near margin of error. So, you know, it's a non sequitur. Um, but when we look at, you know, state sponsored terrorism um, on, 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 on black and brown communities, you know, this is one of the reasons. And I get all this pushback from all my friends who, you know, if, if you're black, you're supposed to be a Democrat. And I'm not, you know, I register Republican, um, but I'm more libertarian. And, you know, I, you know, I, one of the beauties of a Republican form of government um, is 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 the idea that, um, you know, states rights and yes, yeah, states rights is a is a touchy thing, um, especially for black people who were, you know, descendants of slaves and, and, and states rights generally means the right of a state to hold you as, as chattel. Um, but, you know, now that we're free, you know, look at this states right thing as a solution. And I wonder what would happen if, you know. Over the next four years, however long, I don't know what would happen if, you know, black people said, you know what, we're going to we're going to we're going to all move to our own state. I don't know. You know, South Carolina, something like that. You know, who knows? You can go to South Carolina and, 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 and we all going to take over South Carolina. We have black governor, you know, uh, black everybody. And this is going to be a state that's, you know, from bottom up designed to protect black people. I don't know. I mean, heck, we got. We got a lot of we got a lot of um, a lot of intellect now. You know, you could have Barack come and be uh, Barack Obama come and be the governor. Who knows? Maybe Michelle be the governor. Um, we could have uh, Eric Holder come and be the attorney general. Colin Powell come and, and head up the, the National Guard. Um, Condoleezza Rice could get involved. Uh, heck, I'd even take Clarence Thomas to be over the judiciary. Uh, I think once you get him into the right circles, he'd be all right. Um, but. You know, you know, we have the intellectual capital now where, you know, you have a state and, and then having a having a um, National Guard, an Army National Guard, an Air National Guard, a Navy National Guard to protect ourselves from being invaded by by the other states around us. Now, it sounds crazy, sounds far fetched. But I mean, look at where we are. Uh, look at where we are, where where, you know, a, 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 a terrorist who, who in, tried to kill people, injured people. Um, shot at police. Now, let's for, not forget, he wasn't just Arab. He was white Arab. Uh, he is taken alive, uh, but black man with his hands up um, is shot and killed. You know, black man reading a book is shot and killed. Yeah, that is a dangerous thing to let a black man read a book. I know, I know white folks, it scares you. But, you know, all, 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 you know, a white man, 22 years old, shoots a BB gun at police and is taken alive. Uh, but a black child, 12 years old, is playing with a gun, pointing it at no one is dead. Um, you know, what, you know, you start to wonder and it starts to prick at my very theology because, um, you know, those who know me know I always talk about reconciliation and, and, and believe in, in reconciliation and, and still do. But it, it's like, you know, how in the world, you know, is, is, is it even safe for us to want to be one? You know, I, I have a 12 year old son and I have to let him know that, yeah, you don't don't trust the police until they show you that they can be trusted. Yes, I have to tell my son, don't trust the police because I don't want him killed. And I know, you know, people want to debate about, uh, you know, oh, Colin Kaepernick is kneeling for the national anthem and all these athletes are putting up their fists in their national anthem. And, you know, dumb Negroes need to do nothing but play play sports and, 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 and just run around in the field. And, and, and don't have any any intellect. 
you know, and, and it's unpatriotic for a black man to protest the national anthem, but somehow um, white folks can can celebrate and wave around the Confederate flag and still be considered American patriots. Here's a flag that flew uh, in, 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 in desire to overthrow the American government. You know, black people have never tried to, on mass, have never tried to overthrow the American government. You know, we may have had differences, but we've always on mass tried to reform the American government to get the American people to live up to the highest ideals that we portray to that more perfect union that we say that we're supposed to be about. But, you know, uh, here it is the, that stars and bars, the Confederate battle flag, all of those Confederate banners flew in order to overthrow the government. And here it is. They always said the South will rise again and the South is rising, damn it. And we probably going to have President Trump which means the South has risen again. And even if, you know, you beat back the Trump movement and, 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 and elect Hillary Clinton, you think that's going to make the South go back away? You think they're going to go right back into the mountains and into the hills and into the valleys or wherever it is they came from? No, they done shown themselves. So how are we going to make sure that we are safe? How are we going to make sure that uh, our children can play? That... Um, little black boys and black girls the hell with holding hands with little white boys and white girls that's an aspiration on the ideal that's so far in the future uh, right now we got to be worried that little black boys and black girls can make it home and and, and not just, and you know it's one thing to, to talk about making it home from 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 violence in the streets i mean you know white kids face violence in the streets from other white kids you know there's fights at white schools there's fights everywhere but that you can't even turn to your government for help because your government may be the one to execute you. Um, before we start talking about holding hands, uh, how do we even know it's safe to hold hands? Because I might hold your hand, and you might stab me in the back. And, and I know there's plenty of you out there that's listening to this right now. It's like, oh man, you a priest. How are you going to be saying that? But going to be angry at that, but not, uh, not angry at the fact that the reality is true. That I had to tell my son, I had to have a conversation. My son wants to know, why is it that that the police are shooting us? Why is it that 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 other people, that non non blacks, that the white folks are aren't getting shot by the police and killed? Why is it that they're shooting us? And I gotta tell my son, son, they shoot us for fun. They shoot us for sport. You you're not in that position where just by uh, being in my neighborhood, I'm a threat. I'm 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 draw I'm jogging in my neighborhood in jogging gears, wristbands, headbands, you know wireless earphones you know compression shorts jogging in my in my neighborhood and 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 neighborhood association calling the police on me because a black man jogging in this neighborhood is suspicious uh, th that's where the problem is and the scary part is it's so few so few white people that are willing to stand up and call the spade a spade and those ones that dare stand up are ostracized and, and condemned for it they're, they are cut off as, 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 as nigger lovers because they have the audacity to, to, to stand on the side of right. And I don't know where I'm going in this rant, but I just got a, a, a ton of frustrations. And, you know, it's like, Jesus, come now. I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. You know, but the Lord is patient. The Lord is merciful. And the Lord keeps waiting for us to get it right. But I, damn, I don't know. It's, it's questioning every fiber because I don't know if we want to get it right. You know, we, 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 we think that simply by, 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 by proclaiming Jesus Christ as Lord that, oh, you know, America's a, a Christian nation that somehow we're we going to be saved. But even the demons call Jesus Christ Lord. I mean, the, the demon who, who, who was in legion, who was in the, in the leper in the, by the tombs, Jesus Christ, son of God, what have you to do with me? And, and, and Jesus still sent him into the, into the swine and the swine over the, over the cliff into the abyss. So just because we proclaim ourselves to be Christian does not mean that we are saved, but I don't know if we want to be. And it's like you, you, you ramming your head into a wall like trying, trying, trying for hoping for people to get right, hoping for people to to love more than hate, hoping for people to 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 want to have true peace, to want to have well meaning. You don't know. I don't know. I keep hoping, you know, keep hope alive.
keep hope alive. I keep hoping, but I don't know. What do you know? What do you think? What do you hope? Do you still hope? Can you still have hope? And how do you still have hope when it seems that that hope is false hope? When it seems that that hope is hoping against hope? When it seems that that hope is foolish in the face of the reality? But Lord, you know we're supposed to be fools. We're supposed to be fools for you. And the foolish thing to do, Lord, is to hope. When we can look around and see the reality, the foolish thing to do is to continue to hope that oneness would prevail in the face of such separation. I don't know, y'all. I'm trying today. I'm trying. I'm trying to keep hope alive. I'm trying to keep faith alive. Trying to keep love alive. I'm trying not to go insane. When everything around you, everything around me is begging me to go insane. I pray for us, y'all. That the Lord would give us strength. That the Lord would give us courage. That the Lord would comfort us. That we might indeed walk worthy of the calling to which we have been called. I pray for us, America, that we would indeed strive to be uh, that more perfect union. I ask you all to pray for me. That I don't lose my righteous mind. 